Now we will discuss how to find the HCF or GCD of two numbers. Let's say we have two numbers A and B. Consider 25 for A and 35 for B. Now we will follow Euclidean algorithm to find the HCF. Euclidean algorithm what it says is check if B is equal to 0. That check if B is equal to 0. If B is equal to 0 then A is HCF. So now we are checking whether B is 0. No, it is 35. Then what should you do? Then in the place of A pass B. So we are passing 35. Instead of B, what should you do? You should say A modulo B. That is bring B here and in the place of B, A modulo B. That is the remainder when A is divided by B. What is the remainder here? It is still 25. So now we have to perform the check. Is B equal to 0? No. Then bring B to A. So it is 25. Now it is A modulo B. So what is the remainder when 35 is divided by 25? It is 10. So now again we are checking. Is B equal to 0? No. So bring 10 here. And here what should be there? A modulo B. What is the remainder? It is 5. Now again perform the check. Is B equal to 0? No. So bring B here. And what should be here? 10 modulo 5. That is A modulo B. What is 10 modulo 5? It is 0. So now check if B is equal to 0. Yes. So now A is HCF. So what is the HCF of 25 and 35? It is 5. Let us consider one more example. We will consider 21 and 63. Is B 0? No. Then bring B here. A modulo B. It is 21. Now is B 0? No. So bring 21 here. What is A modulo B? It is 0. Because 21 into 3 is 63. So the remainder is 0. So now is B 0? Yes. So A is the HCF. 21 is the HCF. Now let's consider one more example. We will consider 6 and 11. So is B equal to 0? No. So bring it here. 6 modulo 11. The remainder is 6. So now is B equal to 0? No. So bring it here. What is 11 modulo 6? It is 5. Then is B equal to 0? No. So bring it here. What is A modulo B? It is remainder is 1. So now is B equal to 0? No. So 1 comes here. What is 5 modulo 1? It is 0. So now B is 0. So the HCF is 1, which indicates that A and B are co-prime. So now let us implement this logic in C. Let us accept two numbers A comma B. Now we will invoke a function called find HCF and print the HCF. We will pass A and B as the arguments. So now let us implement the find HCF function. So here we are going to check if B is equal to 0. If B is equal to 0, then we are going to return A as the HCF. Otherwise, what are we going to do? We are going to return the HCF of B because B must come in the position of A. So we are interchanging it and in the place of A modulo B must be there. So this is a recursive function. That is, it is invoking it again and again until B becomes 0. So let us execute the program. So 25 and 30, 35. So the HCF is 5. Let us give 50 and 49. So the HCF is 1. Let us give one more example. 121 and 55. The HCF is 11. Thanks for watching.